Hey guys, the objective for this video is to define the effective length concept and its use. So if we have a look um, at a beam here, which has a buckled mode n is equal to 3, we know um, from the last video what that critical buckling load is. So the critical buckling load is defined by this formula here, n squared pi squared e i over l squared. So if we sub that in, we're going to get 9 pi squared e i over l squared. And what we can also do is we could then rearrange that to get pi squared e i over l over 3 squared. Now this L over 3 is actually the distance between the ch changes in contraflexure on our beam here. So change in contraflexure means that we have zero bending moment at that point. So this d squared y dz squared is equal to zero at that point. And this length here is L over 3 because we've got a total length of L. So what we can actually do is we can replace this L over 3 and replace the uh, L and the N with what's called the effective length. So if we know the effective length,